A relic of railroad history, stuck in time, standing still and waiting for either the forces of Mother Nature to tear it down or the willingness of man to keep it standing. High in the mountains of Southern California, close to the Mexican border, stands one of the most daring and dangerous engineering projects undertaken at the time. This is the Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge, the largest curved wooden structure on the planet, dominating the remote wilderness landscape that surrounds it. If you enjoy our content, make sure to like and subscribe to One Mega Projects. The complex wooden bridge resonates with the spirit of the Wild West and Frontier America, and it's a part of a historical railway which connected the sleepy little border town of San Diego to Yuma, Arizona. In the early 20th century, the American Railroad is in its golden age. But despite its superior natural harbor, the engineers of the Southern Pacific Railroad had bypassed San Diego due to the steep and inhospitable terrain which would have to be conquered going east. John D. Spreckles, a wealthy businessman considered the founding father of modern San Diego, believed that it was imperative for San Diego to have a transcontinental link to the eastern part of the United States so that it could compete with Los Angeles as a major shipping hub of the Pacific Rim. So in 1906, 30 years behind his competitor, he formed the San Diego and Arizona Railway Company, a 148-mile line between San Diego and El Centro, out of which 44.3 miles extending through Mexico, was planned. Groundbreaking ceremonies were held on September 7, 1907. Workers of various backgrounds and nationalities finished almost the entire line in only five years, but it took them another eight years to build the 13 trestles and dig the 17 tunnels through the last 11 miles in the treacherous Carrizo Gorge. Despite the Mexican Revolution, with Mexican revolutionaries attacking, murdering, and kidnapping the construction crews, despite World War I with the U.S. federal government seizing control of all railroads and stopping construction as part of its war effort to conserve resources, despite the deadliest influenza pandemic in recorded history, claiming the lives of 675,000 people in the United States alone, the line dubbed the Impossible Railroad was finally completed on November 15, 1919. On December 1st, the first passenger train arrives in San Diego from El Centro for the official grand opening. The total construction cost was around $18 million. Conditions on board the train lived up to the Impossible Railroad moniker. The SD&A, short for the San Diego and Arizona Railway, was derogatorily known to stand for slow, dirty, and aggravating because of the high temperatures, smoke, and open windowed trains cars. Passengers would be choked by the steam and the fumes coming from the steam locomotive while it was passing through the many tunnels on the line. Operation of the tracks went smoothly for the first few years and into the 1920s, but the entire stretch of the line runs through some of the most unforgiving and unstable terrain in America, following the contours of the canyons. The rail tracks on the canyon edge sliding down the mountain and tunnels collapsing transformed it into a financial burden. Following Spreckel's passing in 1926 and a major landslide in 1932 which completely crushed Tunnel No. 15, his family sold the line to Southern Pacific for nine cents on the dollar. With Tunnel 15 now obsolete, a new shorter tunnel was dug to bypass the landslide, but this required the construction of a massive trestle to cross Goat Canyon and link the two rocky mountain peaks. A small army of workers and engineers began the construction of the Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge in 1932. Working conditions were brutal. The entire structure was not being built on solid ground, but on top of very unstable shattered granite that could give way beneath their feet at any time. And once a slide starts, it just keeps sliding until there's nothing left. No water source for miles and no shelter from the extreme desert sun. Given that the entire structure was being built out of timber, which is going to be extremely dry out there, the smallest spark or a cigarette casually thrown away could set the whole thing on fire. The engineering behind the structure may appear very simple, but it's made up of a vast number of short spans supported by a tripod, onto which the bridge platform is then laid, using what is essentially 19th century technology. It stands 200 feet above the ground, is 750 feet long, 
and has an impressive 14-degree curve. A straight, non-curved angle would make the whole structure more vulnerable to strong winds and collapse. Although essential for maximizing strength, this curve is also the most dangerous element of the bridge construction. The speed on the bridge was limited to about 10 miles an hour, and if the train went too fast, it could have derailed ending up plunging to the desert floor below, just like this train going over another trestle bridge in the 1970s. It was fully built from redwood timber as it was designed to be flexible, with all the members, trestles, and the ties moving when the train passed over it. As they all moved, the stresses were relieved and not all taken in by one point. High temperature fluctuation would have caused metal fatigue in a metal bridge. Though it's crucial for the structural support, the wood did have a potentially fatal flaw. When the train engaged the brakes, the brake shoes would heat up and hot pieces of metal would come off and rain down into the trestle. This scenario of hot shards of metal falling from the brakes into the wood structure and starting a fire was so serious that a huge water tank was installed on the mountainside and a sprinkler system was added next to the railway tracks. The water tank and the piping was an extra cost, but it would be able to suppress a fire that could destroy the entire $300,000 project. They had an employee operating the valves and starting the sprinklers when trains went over the bridge. The Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge was finished one year later in 1933, and on top of being the highest and most remote wooden railway structure ever built, it instantly became the largest curved wooden structure in the world, a record which still stands to this day. In 1976, Hurricane Kathleen hits other bridges on the rail line, and after several earthquakes, rockfalls, fires, and the rise of car travel, the trestle bridge is finally abandoned in that same year. Most of the timber in the structure is still in good condition even to this day, but the bolts that are holding it together have been loosened by all of that movement and flexibility over time, and unfortunately, that makes the bridge no longer sound. Currently, the Goat Canyon Railroad Trestle Bridge is off-limits to unauthorized entry, but just a few years back before the no-trespassing zone, the bridge was a prime destination for hikers, history buffs, and desert enthusiasts in San Diego County. In 2016, the Desert Line Railroad's management, including the Goat Canyon Trestle, was sublet to the Baja California Railroad. According to company representatives, both the railroad and Carrizo Gorge Road are now off-limits for recreational use. This area has also garnered its share of ghost stories. Among them are accounts of luminous orbs, ghost locomotives, and even an alleged enigmatic Sandman. Thanks for staying with us until the end, and we'll see you in the next video.